If the soundtrack is any indication, this is a big deal. Or as the kids say, this is a BFD. U.S. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm announcing Tuesday a fusion energy breakthrough by scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Lab in California who produced more energy during a fusion experiment than what was put into it, something called net energy gain. Or as the New York Times puts it, reproducing the power of the sun in a laboratory. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory anywhere in the world. This is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. And it's a milestone, she adds, that moves the world closer to the possibility of zero carbon abundant fusion energy, or put another way, near limitless clean power. The holy grail of energy research is to put the sun in a bottle. And that's apparently what they did in California. Dr. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physics expert, tells CNN the achievement is a cosmic game changer. The fuel for a fusion reactor is seawater. Fusion is the energy of Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not create nuclear waste, meltdowns like we have with uranium. So how'd they do it? It all went down last week. 192 giant lasers were fired on a target of fuel to fuse two light atoms into a denser one, releasing the energy. The White House science chief breaks it down like this. They shot a bunch of lasers at a pellet of fuel and more energy was released from that fusion ignition than, than the energy of the lasers going in. Who knows, perhaps by mid-century, there could be a fusion reactor in your neighborhood.